Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel. My name is Margaret, and this is my channel, Texas Gale Treasures. And today's Sunday, and Sunday I like to do a week in review. And I gotta say, this week I was like, do I really wanna do a week in review this week? I don't know. Maybe I should do a jewelry haul instead. Um, but no, I was like, no, it's week in review day. We'll do the jewelry haul tomorrow. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so here we are, Sunday, and and, Normally I do it a little bit later in the day, but we have all of our moving and packing and errand running going on today. So I was like, let's just do it this morning. Let's hang out. Let's talk about the week. Let's review things because that's important. <laughs> so good morning. Hi everybody in the live chat. Thanks for coming in. If you're watching later and you would like to join in live, then go down there and hit the little bell so you're notified when I go live. And if you wanna check out what everyone's saying and who all's here, the chat, if you're on your phone, it's down below and otherwise it's off to the side over there. <clears throat> so um, things are on the up and up over here. Um, we, you know, before I hit live, I say, hey boys, don't fight. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay, they said. Um, so yeah, the reason I like to do Week in Review is because I think it's important as not just in business, but in life, that that you're taking the time and that I'm taking the time to see how the week went and in all aspects of life um, and review, like, how did I do? Like, how was I comfortable? Was I happy with the way I handled situations? Was I happy with the way business went? Um, what did I meet my goals? And to take a look at what kind of goals I want to set for the week coming up and how I might handle situations that might arise during the week. I think it's just good to mentally prepare yourself. If you guys know, I've you know shared in the past some struggles I have sometimes with anxiety, depression, and I think especially for people that are prone to that, um, not that I necessarily am, I think this happens to everybody, but it's good to kind of have a plan of action in place. And we are going through some stressful times right now, and it just is, in our personal family. So um, I think it's really important for for me to reflect on how things have been going and, and how I want to structure things going forward. Not that it ever follows the plan. There's always hiccups, but but I think it's it's good to know and good to do that. So yeah, instead of just barreling forward until you just hit a brick wall and fall like that. <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah, I can, and, and I'll answer questions and whatever you guys have in the chat. Hey, at Doodle Noodle, I like your name, Doodle Noodle. Um, so hello again. Let me say hey in the chat real quick to some people, and then we'll we'll jump into everything. Uh, hey, Treasure Pirate. Hey, Jennifer and Amy. Hi, Phyllis and One Witch Lady. Good morning. Hi, Patricia, Darlene, and Forever Luzon. Hello, Laura. How's it going? Nearly tea time. Yay! No, things are going really well. Things are <laughs> they're really doing okay. Yeah, so <clears throat> so I guess let's start with this last week. Um, Business-wise, uh, as you guys may know, I have my eBay and Etsy on vacation because we are packing and moving to Austin. Um, we have a place, well, we have an apartment in Austin, and so we're just back and forth. Um, we're packing things up here. We got a pod delivered, so we're you know stuffing the pod. And we're having another big garage sale next weekend to try to get rid of some more stuff. The inventory, so I've also gone through, I've taken the advice of some people that have been viewers and, and I've decided that I'm gonna go through and not just declutter what I don't have listed, but I'm also decluttering some things that I've had up forever that haven't sold, um, that I just don't wanna move. Um, if I don't feel like really happy about moving it and excited about, listing it i just like okay it's it's gonna go into the garage sale so uh that's been going on i deactivated a bunch of listings so now i need to go through and pull i'm, I'm kind of i'm leaving that towards the end of the week or mid to end week to to go in i'm i'm like my workroom y'all if you have a workroom like my workroom you know what it looks like in there so it's just a matter of going through, and I am planning on showing, while I'm doing that, um, showing how I have my jewelry inventory set up because I've had a few requests for that. So I thought, well, this is the perfect time. Once I get stuff cleaned out of there and out of the way, I'm sharing my how I have my jewelry inventory. So moving forward, you know, that's the direction I'll be going more in now, especially 
I don't know. There's uh, luckily we have flexibility if you're re a reseller watching. So we're lucky that we have that kind of flexibility where we can, depending on where you live, pick and choose what kinds of things we choose to sell. And there are times when I just want to sell jewelry or I want to focus on other things too, or I have to, you know? So good morning, everybody. Yes. Yes. Um, so also, I don't, I don't want to move a whole lot of breakable things unless it's something really awesome. So we went through, and this is a little bit sort of off. We, my brother came down from Dallas to help me with my grandmother's storage locker. So as you guys know, maybe that was one of the things that was stressing me out was that we still had a lot of her stuff in storage over the last four and a half years. I've been chipping away at it slowly, slowly, slowly. And uh, so my brother came down to help me and we spent, almost all day yesterday going through every single box and because she had a ton of uh, like china porcelain arts glass books i mean there were five boxes of files some of the files dating back to the 40s so we we were going through just like what and, and my brother saw my face when he saw the files and i just thought i don't have that in me to shred five boxes of files so he said, I'm going to put those in my trunk and I'm going to take those to Dallas and I'll shred them up there because there were like social security numbers and legal documents and stuff like that. So are you, I don't, what is Fortnite, Dave? I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we went through that. Oh, what I was saying was there were, <clears throat> there were some things there in the storage that I decided that I would go ahead and hold on to, to resell. Um, but it was mostly instead of sitting there looking up every single thing like I had been doing just because I didn't want to donate value. Uh, I just said, OK, if it's something I know, I'm going to hang on to it. If it's something that I am pretty confident about, I'm going to look it up. So I walked away with like five boxes of things. So like whole pottery, um, which some of it's worth good money and some of it's not. So she had some big hull bases. Um, the, uh, what is it called? B buyers. They're the, like they have the pilgrims and stuff. If you watch Jason, his mom talks about them. And um, so one of those and a few other things. Um, so there, um, that, that I went ahead and held on to, to resell, but the rest is, you know, we've donated and then I have some that we're going to put in the garage sale. Yeah, that'll be good. So that's, what's going on with eBay and Etsy. Let me see what's going on in the chat and then I'll, I'll continue on with what was going on and what's coming up. Um, oh yeah, I, I think it's it's not as big as I was, the pod, I'm <laughs> sorry answering your question, Phil. She said, I'm so glad you got the pod. It's not as big as I was hoping it would be. But I think, I think we're gonna continue to downsize and, and declutter some more. So I don't wanna have to get more than one. Plus, okay, here's another fear about the pod. I told Randy, I, our garage is, we have a detached garage from our house and I know there's bugs out there and I'm like not good with bugs. So I said, I don't know, Randy, how I feel about putting anything that's in that garage in the pod with our household stuff. Cause if there's bugs, I don't want to get into the household stuff. So I'm at a, a bit of a standstill as far as that goes. What am I going to do? I can't put that stuff in the pod with like our beds. And no, I don't know. So our bed frames rather. Just think on that for a second. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know. He's out there right now taking things out of the rafters and, and whatnot. <laughs> Speaking of whatnot, uh, I shared in my in a few different groups, but also on my Texas Gal Treasures Facebook page, this, it's like what words and phrases annoy you. And so now every time I say things that I've seen on the list, I like catch myself. But there's like, everybody has something that annoys them. What not was one of the things that people were saying was annoying and y'all and other things. Um, okay. So let's see. Um, how old was my grandmother when she passed? She was 87. So she would, yeah, she was 87. Have I considered buying jewelry on Shop Goodwill's website? And I have, <clears throat> I have bought jewelry from Shop Goodwill. I bought some other things as well on their site. Pardon me. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I don't know if they've changed. The reason I stopped was because their shipping was out of control. You would win a lot that was $5 and then the shipping would be 20 bucks 
or something crazy. Like it was way too much on the shipping. So they were making so much money and it was annoying me to no end. So maybe they quit, they changed that. But I used to, I used to get stuff from Shop Goodwill. Um, you should, yeah, should keep what you really want. Yeah, and get rid of what you don't think you'll need. <laughs> yeah, Kaylee. Um, oh, 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 follow Zaheer and Tom. Yeah, I, I followed their Zaheer and Tom's gaming channels just for funsies. Um, so I'll have to see. <laughs> they have some, their reseller gaming channel, so it's good. Um, what are you going to do with your inventory while in the apartment? Well, I'm going to take, this is my thoughts so far. Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to take my jewelry because it's compact and it's going to be manageable. I think I can get everything maybe in a tub or two. Um, that's listed, you know, and that stuff is going to come with me. Everything else I'm going to box up and it'll go into the, into the pod and then I'll handle it when I get, when we get a house. So that way, at least I'm still, I've got some inventory to work with. Uh, I have a little tiny pop-up tent, so I might take some things that I can work on listing, but I'm not sure I'm going to have time for it. At the, you know what I mean? We'll see. I, I, I may just have some, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Get some cedar wood essential oil, spread it in the, in the oh, that's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> Dave says, annoying phrases, mate or all right, mate. Another one I don't like is hun. When people call me hun or honey, I'm like, I don't know you. If I, unless I know you, then I do know you. But if you say hun to me, I might say, I don't know you. No, I'm kidding. I won't. Um, if you haven't touched it or used it in a while, oh yeah, get rid of it and sell it. Yeah, I think just the jewelry will be will be good. Because when we're, we're moving into, right now, Ran, we have a one bedroom apartment there. Because at first we were like, we didn't know what our timeline was going to be. And so now we've got a two bedroom apartment. So that's uh, where we're heading with that. So that's that. Uh, like I can turn the camera so you can kind of see my mountain. So I've got mountains of boxes, and over here, mountains of furniture. We're going to be moving into the pod, so that's that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, and then yesterday, Randy, <laughs> Randy broke James's bed, so he was pretty upset by that because he was taking the bed apart, and it, um, and then he fell on the bed frame and broke it or I don't know I wasn't here when it happened so he was pretty upset with himself about that but I'm just like it's one less thing we have to move even though we it wasn't even six months old we got it at Ikea so he's pretty upset so we're gonna have to buy a new bed frame for James when we move but at least we don't have to move it right you gotta look on the bright side I think uh that it's important to look on the <laughs> try to find that silver lining that positive um yeah. Oh, and I meant to ask this in the beginning. So if you're watching now or watching later, you know, let me know something that you have learned this week or something that, I don't know, something you feel like you did well this week. I think it's important for us because we don't, most of us are, are our own employers and we are our own employees and we don't have somebody saying, you know, forcing us to reflect or telling us, hey, you did it. A really good job with that you know so so find something that you feel like hey you know that's one thing this week that I feel like I handled really well I feel like you know whether it was an interaction with a customer whether it was you know a, a something you boxed up that you thought was going to be a challenge whether it was a design that you tackled in it it turned out great this has been by far one of the most stressful weeks I have had in a really long time a really really long time um, so and I was telling Randy last night that this was the week where it was like there was it was hard to find that silver lining because every single aspect of my life had stress like really big stress in one way or another whether it was you know eat my eBay stores is, is you know vacation and I'm not able to sell and there was some issues and drama with the merch community, really big stressy stuff. You know, my homeschooling stuff is kind of all wonky wonky right now because of packing and moving. We're packing up a house. We're trying to downsize. We're, you know, it's just like everything. My, my dad's, you know, knee replacement and he still can't get around. Also, you know, he can't get out. My mom's back's been killing her. So she's not able to help that much. And it's just been 
everything. You know, it's been one of those weeks. I had to take my car into the shop. I'm not joking. I like car ended up in the shop and it was just everything. And it's, it was so hard to find and the, the, the positive this week. And so I think real, I mean, really pulling, trying to pull that positive out of something somewhere is important. So, um, there were some way down times this week, you know, and it was a challenge to try to find those silver linings for sure. Uh, Kaylee says you need to top, stop and take a breather. And that's what I did this morning. Um, I was like, I'm not getting out of bed. So for me, not getting out of bed till nine, which is what happened. It was big, like I stayed in bed and Randy got coffee and, you know, he was taking care of feeding the kids and everything. And I, but other than that, I don't really have time for downtime. I don't have time for downtime. Uh, so yeah, it, it just doesn't happen very often. Yeah, that's why Wilson Magnolia says, that's why I said to pack up everything and decide later what to do with it. Oh yeah. And, and, and I would get to that point where Okay, I'm I'm downsizing, I'm decluttering as I'm packing, and then I'll get to the point where I'm just like, forget it. I take the drawer and I just dump it in the box, you know, because I didn't want to take three thousand pins with me, but I guess I'm taking three thousand pins with me. So, yeah, I did finally bring some boxes into the house. I had to do it. I and Randy even said today we'll go buy some more tubs. <laughs> like, I, it's it's a challenge. Well, and we were at the oh, so we were at the storage locker. <sighs> so many bugs. <clears throat> and I thought, you know, I had my brother with me that he would vanquish the beasts that attacked us, but he was as scared of them as I was. I won't say scared, but he was as uh, squeamish of them as I was. And my, and this is, it sounds weird, but like my brother's, he, 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 my brother knows Kung Fu. My brother does Kung Fu. And so I'm like, why can't you just bust your Kung Fu on them? Like it's this, and they're those big ones, you know, if you've seen those Texas size, Roaches. I know they're technically probably water beetles or whatever, but they're this big. They're they're beasts. So I was like, dude, you need to like pull, show me where you, where's your kung fu now, right? <laughs> you need to kung fu these things out of here. But no, it wasn't. Um, <laughs> thank you, Maria. So yeah, and I was like, none of these boxes from the storage locker are coming into this house at all. So that happened, and uh, they didn't. <laughs> so. I kind of look for, well, I did, after I got up, I got ready, Dave. I, I just roll out of bed. I don't wake up looking this way. Trust me. I almost took a selfie at the storage locker yesterday, and I thought, nobody needs to see that. <laughs> that would, you would find a hard, it would be hard to find a silver lining in that selfie. Um, moving is the next most stressful thing to, besides losing a loved one. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Wilton Magnolia. It's true. Um. And it's hard because it, one of the reasons too, like I wanted to speak of the devil. Them. There's my brother. Um, <laughs> the uh, one of the stressful things about moving too is that I always thought I would be the one staying here to take care of my parents, and it's just like just so happy. Usually they're in fair health, you know. My mom has some health stuff here and there, and but now both of my parents are having struggles. Like my dad's had this knee replacement and my mom's backs, you know, she's been getting an MRI and all this stuff for her back. I'm like, Man, now <laughs> that we're moving. So that's been really weighing on me, guilt and stuff. So, um, okay. Kung Fu's coming over. <laughs> so my brother may be here in a minute. Anyway, um, you can inspect the box before bringing them into your house and make sure there's no bugs. The problem is with cardboard is that that, you know, how it, how cardboard is like, it's not just flat. It's like that. And there's like that weave, you know, in the card. And then they're like in there. Maybe it's just me. Like they're in there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe they will. Yeah. And that's the thing I'm, uh, I'm getting, we're, we're looking to see if we can swing a five bedroom place when we go to Austin, because that's the plan. Like I want to have a specific room that, you know, on the ground floor, if we end up with a two story house for my mom. Uh, oh yeah. Extraordinary vintage. Ooh, oh, I heard a seller in Arizona saying that she had to worry about scorpions getting into her stuff. I'm telling you, my sister gets scorpions in her place in Kerrville. 
And so that might be something we have to deal with in Austin because we're going to be in the hill country. We don't really have to deal with them too much here, but, but Elaine gets scorpions in her house sometimes. And my son, Michael, he can't, he, he's like, I just can't, I can't even like with scorpions. I just can't like a Valley girl or whatever. So, uh, Goodwill and Kerrville says they send all their jewelry to their, to headquarters. I believe it. I, and I, I don't know if I, my Austin video or the one before, anyway, I had gone to like four or five Goodwills in Austin and they didn't even have a jewelry counter. So I was panicked uh, because they didn't have a jewelry counter there at all. <laughs> so, uh, but then we went to some garage sales and I found jewelry. <laughs> It's like, what am I gonna do? How do I live? You know, I'd have to figure out, yeah, put plan B on that. So maybe when you get to Austin, you can test the kids at the schools. Make maybe, yeah, we'll see. I mean, we're as far as homeschool goes, we'll just have to let that's a good segue into homeschool. And um, we've been like, I, I'm really mm, my teaching style with the kids and everything is really immersive. So like if they're wanting to learn about rocks, we like just immerse ourselves in it and read about it and watch stuff about it and, you know, handle it and go see it and everything, you know? So I, you know, as a teacher, as a mom teacher, feeling like right now we're not doing that. We're just, to me, we're doing our, you know, the three R's, we're doing our reading, our writing, arithmetic. We're, you know, getting the basics done, but we're not doing these like thematic overarching, thing you know like and to me i feel like i'm falling down on the job with them because i'm just kind of like doing the uh, like the average the what yes i am Phyllis. yeah i homeschool my boys so i'm not doing as much with them as i normally would want to do so they're still learning they're still getting their stuff done it's just we were planning on learning what were we going to do next cats they wanted to learn more about cats. So we we're going to do cats. There's a lot to learn. Anyway, so just having to take a break with myself on that, like, okay, it's okay that we're not doing above and beyond and we're going, you know, on field trips and doing all this other stuff. But we, when we get to Austin, I don't know that I'm going to put the guys back into public school, um, especially immediately. I, I don't know that. I'm not sure they want to. I'm not sure I want to. Um, I was hesitant at first to start homeschooling, but now that we've started, it's something that I, I wish we'd started before. But what I may do, and what I think they would enjoy as well, is either like a co-op where we have one day a week where we're going to class with other friends and other teachers, which is something I was going to do here. We it's, we tried one, but things long story anyway and then there are other like bridge programs like there and there's one here as well that the kids could go it's two days a week and they have you know music and spanish and they you know tackle world geography and certain subjects so they would go there twice a week as a you know and then the other days of the week they would complete their home schooling with me so that's something when we get to austin and from what i understand what my brothers told me and what i've looked on facebook that there there's quite a homeschooling um, community going on in Austin. So Patricia says, um, I live in the South and we have to worry about brown recluse spider. Oh yeah, you got bit five times by a brown recluse. Oh my gosh. Make sure to check your clothes that have been packed away. Okay, they're not, but now my clothes are not going into a box. We're getting tubs. <laughs> my, yeah, and, and Elaine has, has um, she said when she was moving, cause she lives out in the country country, and they, when they, when they bought their property, it had a big like warehouse on it where the guy did like his woodworking and welding and everything. And she said she would lift up a box lid, you know, that was folded and like flapped down against the box. She would lift it up and she said, brown recluse spiders would just squish, scuttle out. Cause then they don't make, they don't make uh, webs, right? They just, they're like scavenger type spiders that are, or not scavenger type, but Predator. I don't know. Anyway, so those ones are, are bad. So, yeah. But she showed us definitely how to identify them and how, the, you know, the boys showed them how to identify the brown recluse. So, and we get in, and like black widows, we get those too. So, fun times. Woo! 
Yeah, yeah. I and that's the thing too. Like trying to make sure, like tomorrow, and I, and I schedule things with the homeschool groups that we have here. Um, so tomorrow we have it's called Nerf Wars. So it's not educational, but it's PE, right? Physical education. So we schedule Nerf Wars with a bunch of the homeschool groups where we all just take our kids to this particular park. All the kids have their Nerf guns and they just go at it. They form teams and captains and whew, Nerf Wars. Remembers not to visit Texas. <laughs> Another thing too is rattlesnakes. She, my, my well, my and Elaine lives. She really lives in the country, like, and she's on this, you know, hill. It's really rocky and deserty, sort of. Not deserty, but I mean, it's rocky. I don't know what you would consider Kerrville. I mean, it's, it, she can't plant on the ground, so I guess it is rocky and like scrubby kind of trees and cedars and stuff. Um, so yeah, she. You're not a fan of bucks. Hang on. PE is part of UK education. Yeah, we, I mean, well, they have it here too. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's see. How are your uh, how are you getting your cats to your new place? We're gonna put them in a cat carrier and drive them there. <laughs> what? He yeah, he's talking to you. Pancake's talking to you. Um, how far is the drive to Austin from where we are now? It's about three hours, maybe a little three, three and a half. Yeah, yeah, three, three and a half hours. Um, Jay said he was coming over for a minute, so if you need him, just for a minute, yeah, Easy. yeah. Um, all the, all snakes bother me. We get a lot of snakes in the country. Yeah, I I don't get I don't get squeamish about like snakes and spiders and stuff. I don't want to see them. I don't really want to deal with them, but they don't freak me out like the roaches do. Isn't that weird? Like roaches are not going to kill me. Like those big snakes and spiders probably could, but. For what I don't know what it is. I can't just keep and I go, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my cat was bitten by a brown recluse spider and she barely made it since she and since she's had nerve problems. Oh my gosh, poor kitty. Um, yeah, yeah. And our cats are inside, they don't they don't go outside. So I'm always nervous. Me and then Mimi, my black cat, is the one that always wants to bolt outside. Okay, now we're way off topic. Okay, so we can review <laughs> now. What's coming? Um, what's coming up this coming week? So this week we're going to continue on the packing and stuff. I want the goal is to get all my inventory that I don't want out and ready for the garage sale. To get hopefully everything packed up. I think I'm dreaming, but anyway, we're really going to try <laughs> to get all that stuff done. Um, and then I want to be able to share my jewelry organizing system. Is that you, Jay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Roaches really bother me too. Do your the biggins? Yeah, that's the biggins. Hey, I was just saying I was talking about the roaches yesterday and how how come you didn't use your kung fu on them? Well, because that gets messy and gross. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Uh, my brother and, and Randy. Hey, Randy, Dave wants to know, are you stressed out? Again? Randy, J Dave wants to know, are you stressed out? About what? About what? Because that's a no. About what? Uh, the move, I guess. Yes. Yes. I get other stresses, though, too. He's got other stresses, yeah. <laughs> new job. Yeah. yeah, new job, all that stuff. <laughs> Will my cats see a roam around the house right away? I don't know. I mean, when we... I mean, we might let them in, you know, the first area. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. How do I plan to get rid of all my inventory? Well, I'm going to go through, I'm going to have a garage sale with stuff that I have decided I'm not moving. And then, yeah. Yeah, that's the plan, just to pull it out. So Friday, Saturday, we're going to have a garage sale. James is already got, he's gone through a bunch more of my jewelry and things that he wants to sell. So he's gone through that. And then, yeah, we're looking at renting this house because just in case we need to ever come back. So the plan is to rent this place and yeah, so that's that. Oh, no, we don't make any noise for you. Oh, okay, okay. I, was, I thought they were waiting for me. Okay, um, yeah, I'm not too worried about the cats meowing all the way to Austin, so. <clears throat> Alrighty, so I, 
I guess I, I'm going to probably just leave it there for a second because I'm a little too distracted. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you feel good about this week. Let me know what's something that you found, I don't know, a lesson you learned or something you were proud of yourself for because I don't think we have somebody around usually telling us. And just as a, as a goodbye, I'm gonna, if you have an Alexa, be ready. So I'm gonna say, Alexa, play Your Red Wagon by Ella Fitzgerald and leave a comment and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.